Okay, so in this video, we are going to start creating our login endpoint. And I am in my auth control right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here and right above the register endpoint, I am going to create the login and give it a URL of just good old fashioned login. Next, going to start building out the actual method for this, call this a string, and I will just call this uh, method login. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to create another DTO. So right click, go to the DTO folder or whatever folder that you use, and I'm just going to call this a login DTO. And I'm just going to copy and paste everything from the register DTO because it's going to be exactly the same. And go down here, paste this in and give this a data annotation. Okay, so what we want to do, just like our register, we want to give it a request body annotation. So we'll go request body, go login, login DTO. Looks good, go ahead, bring that in. Okay, so First, uh, first things first, we need to use our authentication manager. So in our security config, we brought in authentication manager. We brought it into our auth controller up here. Now what we need to do is we need to create a authentic, we need to use our authentication manager right here to uh, produce an authentication object. And if that's confusing, let me just show you what it is. It's, it's uh, relatively simple especially in spring security, the newer spring security. So we we'll go here, we'll call this authenticate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in this thing called a user password authentication token. And this is where we're going to pass in our login DTO details. So we'll go login DTO, go get password, login DTO dot get uh, password. This is supposed to be get password. So it's gonna be get username, get password. Sorry for the confusion. I'm gonna bring this down so it looks a little bit better. Give that a uh, semicolon so that it doesn't have a red squiggly line. Here's where we're going to use our security context. So I, I briefly talked about a security context. We're going to use our security context holder to get the context. And this is where the actual uh, security context is going to be set. And in doing this, the security context is going to hold all of the authentication details so that whenever the user logs in, they don't have to keep logging in and all of this is stored within the context and Spring Security handles this all of this for us. So we go here, we're gonna call this user signed in success. Success, give it an exclamation point. And then we will return an HTTP status of okay. So that's looking good. And that's pretty much it. Now we need to test it to make sure that it works. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload this, bring up my uh, postman here. I've already created a login endpoint. So what you want to do is go here, click add request, or you could duplicate the, requ the request. Make sure that your endpoint is a post and it's going to HTTP 8080 API auth login. And what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> whatever uh, JSON that I sent up to the body to register, I am just going to copy and paste into the body for the login and send that up so we don't have to worry about matching the username and the password because the password is encoded and it could be kind of hard, difficult to decipher. So it looks like that's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the send and pray that it works. And we've got an internal server error. So I'm going to figure out what's going on wrong with that. And I will get back to you guys here in a second. Okay, so I was a silly goose. I forgot to delete the user detail service in the security config. And what's happening is that if that security config, if the user detail service in the security config is still there, it overrides our custom user detail service and makes it so that we can't log in. So go ahead, delete that, uh, the user detail service that we coded up in the very beginning. Just make sure to delete that. I'm gonna go ahead and run it and prove to everybody that it works. And <laughs> just go in here, 
<clears throat> give it some time to boot up. Um, make sure to register. So I went ahead and I registered Teddy Smith 4. I was testing it to try and figure out what was going on, but I'm gonna go here, go into your post, type in auth, uh, API auth log, go ahead here and hit the send button and user signed in success. Congratulations. We have figured out our login. We can now go and finally implement our JWT. Anyways, I hope that you guys like this. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.